Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tutorials 2K21. So today in this video, I will explain how to do um, online free certification courses in Infosys Springboard. So here I'll explain step by step how to get registered for this Infosys Springboard and um, uh, how to choose a particular course from the Infosys Springboard uh, and how to start that course and how to write an assessment uh, and after that how to get a certification from that. So these are the free, uh, free certification courses which is offered by an Infosys. So this is a platform which is provided. Just go to your Google and here you can search Infosys Springboard. So now here I already searched. So here you can see this is uh, a link. So uh, if you are first time you're going to access. So now it will ask you uh, some few details about you. You just... Uh, Fill all your details. You can choose uh, your city, state, and you can fill your application. And here you can give your institution. So you just uh, give your affiliation. So here you can uh, you can fill all your details. So here uh, in the next step, it will ask you what is your uh, interest. So you can choose uh, here. So like you are interested thing, you can select. Whatever uh, your interest are there, you can choose. So here I choose in and after that, it will prompt me to the next step. So here it is a visibility, like uh, what diff, uh, theme you can uh, choose. So it will suggest you a default. If you want to interested, like you can uh, make changes. So here it will show you like font size. You can choose if you want a big font size, then you go with uh, these options. And uh, choosable your time format, whether you want 12 hours or 24 hours time format, you can. And uh, here it is a theme, like uh, you want to choose your dark mode so like that you can uh, choose your theme also from here and here you can just do apply and then done okay so this is your first page you can see after you get uh, registered into your uh, infosys springboard so here you can see this is your profile so here you can uh, access your personal things like your dashboard and your assignments, your interest, your learnings, your achievements and everything you can access from your profile. Okay. So here you can see uh, you go to my learnings. So there is no courses are here because you are not enrolled for any of the courses. So what we have to do is just go through here. Here you can search your interested course. So nowadays we know like uh, uh, different training courses, like you can choose artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, Python, uh, or you are interested with any of designing, so like with designing or mobile applications. You want to learn any of the frameworks, whatever you want to learn, you just search your things. Suppose if I'm interested to learn uh, web applications, or web development. So simply you can give your keyword. So here you can see 
So it will give you a different courses. So for implementing your web application, so it will give you a different platforms. Like you can start with HTML, CSS, or you can start with Python as uh, uh, you can use for developing your web applications. So here you can see uh, for every application, it will gives you like uh, go for web development and web development concepts, web development with the ELM. So like we have uh, different uh, courses related to a web development is here. Now you can observe here, it will gives you the hours, means the duration also for completing this particular course. So before you just go to, uh, like uh, enrolling any of a particular course. So what simply you have to do is suppose see, for example, if I choose in this course, like web development trainings, uh, PHP for web development. So simply you just double click on this. Now you can see here. So here you have means before confirming of any course to start, just go through the content, what you're going to learn. So from this course, Right. So now you are interested to uh, learn a web development using PHP. So this course is offered. Uh, these are different uh, concepts uh, that you're going to uh, complete, uh, which is going to explain uh, in this course. Right. You just go through. So you just click on this. Now you can able to see uh, what are different videos is available. And few of the courses is offered like self-learning. You just go through a content. Uh, and write an assessment to complete your course and some courses is offers like uh, videos now you can see here is a simple like videos so this course offered a, a video uh, a streaming uh, videos uh, like uh, it will used to I mean you can learn this particular course you just click on the start button so now you can see your courses get started uh, you can learn I mean, you can complete one by one. Here, uh, you can navigate by using this. So after your completion of one particular module, right, you can uh, find out a tick mark here. So like you have to complete this entire course. At last, you can see here you have an assessment, right? Here you can you have an assessment. So here you just go through an assessment, right? Uh, so it will give you an instructions, uh, means, uh, uh, what is the criteria you have to make for completion of this particular uh, course and how much percentage of uh, um, assessment you have to get to get a certificate right so after completion of these all courses then only you will just go to your assessment part and after completion of this so like you can see now go to your profiles and here you can see your learning stage here it will be one course learnings you just go through uh, here your dashboard so this is your course so we are not started right so that's why it's not shown you any of your learnings here so you just complete at least one video see for example if i started this course and i'll uh, uh, go to see the introduction to php part one so i just play this video so uh, for seeking of completion, uh, simply I just drag to, uh, but you people don't do like this. So you just uh, listen the entire uh, video. Right, now you just uh, navigate to the next. Now you can see here the tick mark is nothing but you just completed one video. It will show you like the status of your completion. So after you are completing this entire uh, course, now you can see this kind of tick marks for your entire uh, modules. Right. And after that, only you can write your assessment. So that leads to complete your entire course. So here you can navigate uh, the status of your courses. So into your my learning, it will show you like uh, which course you are enrolled and how many of users they enrolled for that particular course and uh, how many of them completed and what is your status or your progress. Uh, for completing this particular course and after that here you can get your certificate and everything so uh, so this is actually a video i'll make you to understand how to start your journey with the Infosys springboard and how to choose a particular course and how to get started your course right so now i'll show you uh, my dashboard 
so you can understand that uh, uh, this particular uh, part so now you can understand here uh, so here I, here i share you my uh, infosys springboard uh, here you can see uh, this is my profile and here i having my assessments right and my dashboard and then here my interest and my learnings here you can see and these are different courses uh, actually uh, i enrolled and now you can see here uh, this is a progress of the each and every course uh, how far I completed and here I completed some of the courses like see I completed this particular course now you can see the status it will show you like 100% here I completed even my assessment now here you have an option to download your certificate so you just remember after completion of your entire course and after get assessment then only you can find in your uh, dashboard like under this my learning you can see this particular thing and here you can able to download your certificate so here i'll show you this is my certificate so here uh in february month i just completed my online uh, certification course on javascript concepts which is hands-on so in this way you'll get your uh, certificate at the end of uh, the course completion right uh, so uh, this is one best platform for a btech or degree any kind of students you can uh, uh, get online certification thank you